Hey everyone, Granitor here again. Uh, with the last game of the Culture Clash Flash tournament, and uh, we've used up all our, all our cultures because you can only, only use the uh, culture once, so we've got the nomads left. So I'm bringing uh, Rural Scythia and uh, Conceivables Massagate. So this is be interesting. I'm not much of a nomad fan, but we'll see how we go here. For my build, I've got the uh, Royal Scythian horse there, and a uh, pretty powerful unit. I've got Raised Banner Rally, and also it's got this uh, the Draco, which is a uh, bonus first Cav, bonus first Elephants, and Bracing, and all that crap. And I've got the uh, Steep Noble Lancers, and some more of them, some more of them, <laughs> Royal Scythian. Uh, Horse there, Scythian Royal Horse, however you want to bloody say it. So I've got two of them, one's my gen, and then uh, the rest is like the steep noble lancers. And then I've got uh, the step horses there, and the armoured lancers. Some more armoured lancers out here, three of, and uh, some more step horse archers. And for uh, Conceivables build, he's got the uh, Lancers, the armoured lancers, and he's got these Sacco Cataphract horse archers, rather powerful unit, pretty cool looking too. And he's got the uh, Amazonian riders there, noble lancers, noble lancers, so it looks like he's got a front of them, six of them bastards. And his general's the uh, Sucker Noble Armoured Lancer. He's got uh, Battle Rhythm and Second Wind, is his gen skill. And he's got some more Amazonian riders. Some bitches. See how these ones go, eh? Haven't seen much of these. Pretty cool looking unit. See how they perform in this battle. Then we've got the uh, Sucker Cataphracts. Very dangerous unit. With an upgrade as well. Ooh, he's lashed out the big fella. Hey, okay. he's got another steep lancer and uh, two more of them armored lancers. Lashing out on the upgrade. He's had to make them an expensive bastard of a unit, wouldn't it? Anyway, so I don't think I've put any upgrades on any of mine. No, it's kept them raw. All right, we'll get it underway, eh? See how this uh, funny little battle goes. So I'm just going to put pressure on the flanks here, try and overwhelm one flank if I can. like the uh, look of these units, they look pretty cool. They're reindeer horns. So yeah, they perform pretty well too, from what I've seen. They haven't used them much like I said, but we'll find out how they go now. So over here he's got the uh, armoured lancers and the lancers, all mine are the armoured lancers. So I should have one up on him here if I can get hold of it, but he's got the Sucker Cataphract Horse Archer there. So we're going to line up and I'd say uh, just going to crash in soon. His Horse Archers aren't too bad, getting a few volleys off now, soften them up, soften them up. So here we go. Balls, balls and all. I'm going in. Going in for the kill. So, uh, yep. Got hold of that one. Got hold of the Sucker Cataphracts with me uh, Noble Lancers. Suckers didn't get a good charge off. So in here. Doing the same. Bang. This one commits, so I get the uh, better charge on that. So she's all a bit of a weird kind of <laughs> charges going on here. Where <laughs> trying to jinx each other out there. I've got my general free over here, which will be handy. I absolutely annihilate that um, steep lancer with my armoured lancer. So it gives me free reign on this left side to be able to do what I want. Noble lancers dying to the uh, noble lancers. <laughs> I've got the uh, Draco off, so that'll help me out there a bit. So bring my general in for rear charge here. Which will uh, do me good. We'll crack them bastards. 
Draco's on them. And I've got the Rose Banner. So I should be able to take that out quite easy there. So I'm going to come in for some support now with the, uh, the horse archers there. Just make sure I can uh, wrap this up. The cataphract horse archers are in there. So it's uh, looking pretty even at the moment, to tell you the truth. He's still got his armoured Lancer Noble there. And I've still got mine, both pretty strong. He's chasing away my uh, horse archer over there, you can see. So here he comes in for a rear charge, if you can get that off. Now I'm free with my general. So um, try and take on his general if I can. But then I see a juicier little rear charge over here with me Noble Lancers. He comes in for a good rear charge. But uh, I've got my general on the case. So he's hit the second wind already. Not sure if he needed it then, but um, it would be handy anyway, even if he was a little bit tired. So my general comes in for a good rear charge on his gen, so that'll help me out there. I've got two on one here. The uh, sucker cataphracts is going well, 77 kills. With the, these steep noble lancers going real well. So he's still chasing my uh, horse archer out the back there, which is good for me. Now it's starting to even out a bit. He's going to win this uh, side because of the horse archers there. Then I'm going to win this uh, right hand side. So we've each won a flank each. So we'll see how that goes. Coming in for another charge on his general. It's about even. Both our generals lost about the same men. But here I've got something free over here. The uh, royal horse. So that's handy. I've got the royal ho horse free over here. Which will uh, get rid of his noble lances. Quick as possible. So I can lay the smack down on his gen, but he's doing a good job here with the Amazonian riders. Getting some good rear shots, which are uh, punishing my general. And boom, we both hit Draco at the same time. <laughs> We've got the same same kind of uh, thought process, I mean, conceivable. That's why uh, these are close games. So my general's just holding on, he goes now, so my general's dead, I think. He's dead. That general's still alive. So there we go. He's getting out of there still alive. So it'll take a little bit before he goes off the field. Because I guarantee if my gen had died then, it would have been a different story altogether. So my general's still alive. His general's still alive. Eager. Going to be routing my troops. So I've uh, seen that coming in now. The suck cataphrag horse archers. Quickly get out of there and hit Draco again. So that's going to help me out. And these uh, raw horses are paying for themselves, that's for sure. These sac sucker cataphrac uh, horse archers with 91 kills is a great job. It's doing a freaking exceptional job. So now I come in with the uh, horse archers. Going to take off these Amazonian riders off the field, if I can. His general's holding in there quite well. He's got a lot of upgrades and 133 kills. Doing his, doing his job there. Raw horse. Doing good against the uh, Sucker Cataphract Horse Archers. So he's got another um, Amazonian Rider there. Fuck them. They're going well, them Amazonian Riders. But so is my Horse Archer here. After running all around the field, he's, he's still good, but these rear shots are just killing the frig out of me. Right, so he's won that middle engagement for his general. Now I've only got these uh, Scythian Royal Horse left. And uh, suck a cataphract horse archer, suck a noble lancer he's got. Holy shit. She's another close one. They come down to the wire. But um, if I can get rid of these horse archers here and get rid of his general. He's hit uh, battle rhythm. It's going to help him out heaps. So I come in and uh, hit these Amazonian riders with me horse archers, which have heavily depleted. I'm not sure how these Amazonian riders go in melee. It doesn't look like they go very well at all. Jesus Christ. She's down to the wire again. <laughs> these noble armoured lancers are going off their guts. Three left. Come on, die, you bastards. He puts Draco on me. So that's going to hurt me. But his general's off the field. So now I've just got to get these charge on these uh, Amazonian riders. They've got 51 in the unit. I've only got bloody 19 in this real horse. 
But as you can see, uh, my horse is going pretty well here. Starting to tank down the Amazonian riders. I've st still got uh, 19. I hit the Draco, which is going to help me out freaking immensely. These Amazonian riders going down quite quickly. I've only lost one horse in this engagement with the Amazonian riders. Oh, she's down to the wire again. <laughs> and a costly victory. So, end up winning the tournament with, uh, yeah, some very close battles. And conceivable done very well in uh, in these battles. It's a pleasure playing him. He's always good good competition. So, yeah, what wins out for me was my uh, real horse here. My general didn't go too good at all, really. And uh, these armored um, lancers clutched out a few wins and these uh, horse archers as well have done well and for him his horse archers done re very well the Amazonian riders and uh, his general done excellent and his uh, cataphract horse archers exceptional job same with the suck cataphracts done well but with the upgrade a bit pricey you'd want a few more kills out of them buggers but yeah it's all around the board not doing too bad so a very close battle again <laughs> uh, We've got a habit of doing that, very inconceivable. But, yep, we the same kills and same losses. So a Pyrrhic victory, and a Pyrrhic victory for the tournament. So I coming out the winner in the end, but only just. It could have gone either way in that battle, and uh, could have gone either way in the in the last battle I put up. So uh, shout out to uh, Conceivable for putting the tournament on, done a good job, and uh, shout out to everyone who participated in the tournament. It's all fun battles, and uh, there'll be another tournament soon. So um, hit conceivable up if you want to join this flash tournament. Always quick and good tournaments, so you can get them over and done within a day, which uh, makes them quite fun. Now, worries. Well, thank you very much for watching this uh, tournaments, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the battles because they're very good. And uh, leave a thumbs up if you liked them. And I'll bring you some more. Talk to you soon.